Hey guys, Justin Martin with Duck Commander here. This time on Timber to Table, we're gonna talk about something very near and dear to my heart, a southern fried crappie. And we're gonna do it the way my grandmother did it, because it's the only way I know. Warning, Timber to Table is strictly wild game. All meat is from the timber or water, served directly to the table. No meat is store-bought, no preservatives, no steroids, no nothing, zero, zilch, nada, the big old goose egg. Wild and organic as it gets. If you can hunt it or catch it and you want to cook it, you've come to the right spot. Every animal was harvested legally for the purpose of eating. Enjoy. Bon appetit. All right, guys. Step one for fried crappie, you got to catch a crappie. Step two, you're going to fillet the crappie. Step three, you end up with something that looks like this here. Look at these pretty fillets. These are wild caught Louisiana crappie right here out of Lake Darbone. So you got your crappie in here. See that right there? One thing I like to do that a lot of people don't do is I like to season the fish themselves as well as the fish fry. The season on the fish ain't a whole lot to it. We're gonna use a little black pepper, probably about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a little bit of salt. So we're just gonna get it good and even, get the fish pre-seasoned, boom. That's what your fish should look like. Something about like that. All of this too is dependent on taste. So whatever you like, put a little more of. It doesn't have to be my way or the highway, I can assure you that. This is what I like and I'm just giving you the framework for what you should do. All right, now we're gonna build our fish fry. First step, I love yellow cornmeal. This is what you'll see. I think a lot of people refer to it as southern fried when it's fried in cornmeal. About two cups. Then we're gonna go back basically with the same things that we did to the fish already. We're gonna dump and then I'm gonna check. That's probably good. The salt is probably what I use the least of. I don't like my fish being too salty. Probably a couple tablespoons of garlic powder and then cayenne pepper. It's probably no more than a teaspoon, maybe two. I always remember that on fish fries. You can always add to it at the end, but you can't ever take out of it what's in there. Then zip up your bag, stir it all up. Then, not going to do a whole lot. You're just going to take your fish, you're going to dump them in here. You don't want your fish to sit in here long. The longer it sits in there, the soggier they'll get, and nobody likes soggy fish. While we've been sitting here, I've had the grease getting warmed up. I use peanut oil, and we're going to get that peanut oil somewhere between 350 to 375. We should be really close here. I look at it. One good way to check your grease is to just take a little bit of the batter and you just want to drop it in there. You see that's got a good bubble to it, but we're going to just test it. Let's put this baby in there. Prime three or four minutes a piece, they'll start floating. With this fryer here, I'm going to say no more than four fillets at a time. We're going to put them in there, let them do their thing. Notice I'm not putting fish right back into the batter. Again, don't let it sit in there. You want to go from bowl to batter to oil. And then we're just going to let them cook. These old crappies here, they fell victim to to that new line of baits. You know, everybody always asks, so why y'all make crappie baits? Because we crappie fish. <laughs> Because we we fish really for one reason, that's to eat them. I'll give you this, a bass is pretty good to eat, but he makes for a lot better picture than you put him back in the water. These crappie, they go straight to the ice chest. We getting there now. Look at them, see they're starting to change color. They're starting to go from yellow. And they're done now. I just like to get that extra little bit of brown on them, you know? All right, so now we've got them the color they want basket back in and then while they're still hot this is critical don't let them get cool you want to just dust them with this that way the seasoning will actually stick to it you don't want just a whole lot we've already seasoned everything so you don't want just a whole lot and then that's what you come up with and then you do it all over again and we got us a regulation fish fry and they wonder why we do it let's see what we got here here we go hmm that's uh, hot, but it's good. That's southern fried crappie. Mm. That came from the lake to the table. I mean from the timber to the table. You get the point. That's good. That's all you need to know. If you like what you saw here, click to the right, like and subscribe. Timber to table, you'll see how to catch, cook, all manners of wild game. You're good to go. It's that easy. We'll be here all the time.